converting fractions, decimals, and percentages. So fractions, decimals, and percentages can all be changed from one to the other. I'm going to draw a little diagram to help us with this. So let's draw fractions up here, decimals over here, and percentages over here. Now, we can all go from any one to the other in any direction. Now, how do we do each one? Well, going from a fraction to a percentage is pretty easy. You're just going to be multiplying a fraction by 100, which means going from a percentage to a fraction we do the opposite, so we divide by 100. Now to go from a percent to a decimal, it's the same as going from a percent to a fraction. We're going to divide by 100. And going from a decimal to a percentage is the same as going from a fraction to a percentage. We're going to times by 100. So those ones are relatively easy. The trickiest ones are the fractions and decimals conversion. So to go from a fraction to a decimal, we're going to do short division. And to go from a decimal to a fraction, we're going to take all the numbers after the decimal, numbers after the decimal point, we're going to put it over a 1, and the amount of zeros we need is dependent on how many numbers are after the decimal point. Which will hopefully make sense with an example. Let's have a look at and one example of each. So changing... First we're going to do changing a fraction to a percentage, and that was by times in by 100. So let's change a half to a percentage by times in by 100, and put it over 1, times our numerators together, 1 times 100 is 100, times our denominators together, 2 times 1 is 2, 100 divided by 2 gives us 50%, so that's changing a half into 50%. Next, we'll go, we'll go a decimal to a percentage. We're going a decimal to a percentage. And again, that's times by 100. So let's look at 0 0.2 times 100. And times by 100 with a decimal just means we're going to move our decimal point two places to the right. So moving it once to the right gives us 2. Moving it again gives us 20. So we get 20%. Next we're going to go from a percentage to a fraction. And all we have to do here is take the percentage and divide it by 100. So let's look at 25%. So we just take the 25, divide it by 100, and all we have to do is simplify our fraction. So they're both divisible by 25 to simplify. 25 divided by 25 gives 1. 100 divided by 25 gives 4. And we get a quarter as the final answer. All right, let's look at percentage to a decimal. So again, we're going to be dividing by 100. Let's look at 35%. Now, to do this, dividing by 100, we just need to take our decimal place that's here, because it's a whole number, and move it two places to the left. 1 would give us 3.5, and again, 
gives us 0 0.35. So we're taking our decimal place and moving it two places to the left to give us 0 0.35 as a decimal. All right, let's go decimal to a fraction. All right, so let's look at 0 0.54. Now what we do is we take all our numbers after the decimal place and put it in the numerator. So all the numbers after the decimal place is 5 and 4. So they're going to be our numerator. And what we need to put it over, well, how many decimal places did we have? We had two. So what we're going to do is we write a 1. And then because we had two decimal places, two numbers after the decimal place, we need to have two zeros after that 1. And all we need to do now is simplify. They're both divisible by 2. 54 divided by 2 is 27, and 100 divided by 2 is 50, and there's our final fraction. So we've successfully changed 0 0.54 into 27 over 50. And the last one, we need to go fraction oops, to a decimal, and we do this with short division. Let's look at 3 over 8, which is another way of saying 3 divided by 8. So we can write that in terms of short division, 3 divided by 8. Now, does 8 go into 3? No, it doesn't, so we write a 0. Now, there's nowhere for the remainder, so we need to write a decimal place and a 0, and we line up our decimal points. Does 8 go into 30? Well, it does. It goes in three times, remainder six, so that means we're going to put another zero and a six. Does eight go in a 60? It does, seven times, remainder four. And does eight go in a 40? Well, it does exactly five times, which means that's our final answer. So 3 over 8 is 0 0.375 as a decimal.